You wouldn't happen to be in the market for a home, would you? If you are, I just happen to be selling a manor located right here in Anvil. Yes, I'm selling my grandfather's house, Benerus Manor. If you're interested, I could let you have it for a modest sum. I have to sell it soon as I have pressing matters elsewhere. You're welcome to take a look at it. It is located across the street from the chapel. Once you buy, you get the key to the front door and the deed of ownership. That's the deal. Would you like to buy it now? Excellent. Here's the key. Now if you'll... You got quite... Certainly. Congratulations on your buy. Let's hear it. Hi there. I'm Wilbur. As soon as you bought the place, he pretty much up and left. I hear tell he's making his way to the Imperial City. Be seeing you. I'm surprised to see you all the way out here in the Imperial City. So, you think I'm responsible? <laughs> I suppose you're right, as the manor used to belong to my grandfather, Lorgren Benerus. I knew there was a curse on that place, which is why I sold it to you so cheap. I suppose I should have warned you, but I had to get out of Anvil. My family said I could move here to the Imperial City once all our loose ends were tied down. The manor was one of those loose ends. I fear my own greed got the better of my judgment. I, I hope you weren't hurt badly in that horrible place. I suppose I assumed you'd be able to lift the curse and be done with it. 
Lorgren Benneris was a strange old man, always dabbling and experimenting with magic. He was mostly harmless, until the fateful day he came across a tome bearing the evil magic of necromancy. He became obsessed and decided that by using necromancy, he could prolong his own life. The dark arts contained in the tome called for him to dig up the recently deceased in the nearby crypts under the cathedral. When it was discovered that he did this, the Mage's Guild called for a quick meeting to decide what to do. It only took minutes to decide. Led by a young upstart named Carahill, the Mage's Guild stormed Benerus Manor and slew Lorgren. However, amid the chaos, his body vanished. Because of this, the people of Anvil concluded the manor must be cursed. You are the first person to set foot inside in a long time. According to the diary entry, it seems that I'm the only one who can open the secret door in the manor. And I can't help feeling slightly guilty selling you the place under these circumstances. I'll meet you in Anvil at the Count's Arms. From there, we'll try to lift the curse together. I'll st I'm ready as I'll ever be. Hi! I'm ready as I'll ever be. Was happy. Then let's g get this over with. I don't relish the thought of spending uh, too long inside of the manor. Follow me. Okay, you lead from here. Hopefully we can make it to the basement with- Lead on. I hope that whatever's been... As soon as this opens, I'm leaving.
I desire the chance to atone for my sins. The things I've done to the people of Anvil, the horrible, unspeakable acts I've committed, demand repentance. Garahil was justified in his actions. Slaying me was the only way to stop the madness. I have accepted that fate. Now, so I may make my final peace with the Nine. Please rejoin my hand to my body. Only then, when I am complete, will this eternal nightmare end. It never fails to you see how easy mortal man is to manipulate. You've assisted me in completing the very thing Carrie Hill and his cabal sought to prevent all those years ago. My ascension to immortality. Last time I clashed with mortals, I underestimated their power. I shall not repeat that mistake twice. I live again! I'm sorry for running away like that, but fear got the best of me. I'm glad you talked me into coming with you. Now that the curse has been lifted, I feel like I've taken care of my family's unfinished business. Excellent work, my friend. May the manor give you many years of happiness. I'm now off to the Imperial City once more. Farewell.